Hey there. Uh, so as some of you that uh, follow Yeoman uh, on the Google Plus Hangouts, you've probably noticed that they had their big 1.0 beta release. And a lot happened and uh, changed since the, I guess, uh, 0.96 version that we were using in some of the previous tutorials. So what happened? Well, um, the big thing is that they split up Yeoman into three tools, or rather, they share the sort of shared the glory with Grunt and Power. Um, they were abstracting those in the Yeoman binary, and now Yeoman is just Yo. And so, uh, if you look at their page, they're of course talking about all this. And I think the good thing about this is like Yeoman is now just trying to do what Yeoman does, and that's scaffolding out projects. Uh, Bauer can do the dependency management. Grunt um, will build, preview, and do the heavy lifting. But even more than just that, as a user, I don't have to wonder, should I go into my Grunt file, and just how far should I do the customization? Um, with the grunt file because am I somehow breaking the yeoman abstraction? So I had these questions and um, you know wasn't sure if I was maybe overlooking some features or capabilities of yeoman. Um, and I and I just sort of said, well, I know I can do this by editing the grunt file. So those sort of questions and confusions um, should be rectified by this, but we will have to sort of learn the new idiom. So the first step we're going to look at here is how to get installed. If you were on, um, I've already done some of this, but if you were on uh, 0.9.6 and you want to just completely uh, nuke the old version and upgrade, you'll have to, uh, let's see, you'll have to do an npm uh, uninstall dash g because you probably installed these globally. Um, Bauer, it's going to complain because I've already installed uninstalled it. And then you'll do the same for Grunt. And then you'll do the same for Yeoman. Um, I actually think I had to do it this way. But uh, in any event, those are the three things you're going to need to uninstall, probably globally. And once you've done that, we should be able to um, just follow their instructions, which is just to do npm install dash g yo grunt cli and bower. So if you recall, I have some other tutorials on what the heck grunt is and what the heck bower is, and most of the the concepts there should still apply. And it turns out that that uh, learning is going to be even more useful when using Yeoman now because you're really going to want to know how to use Grunt and Bower. But those are both, especially Bower, is really simple tools and so we should be good. So it's installing a bunch of NPM stuff and I'll probably, oh, I was going to say I'd skip forward but that wasn't too bad. So look at all this stuff we installed. Um, well, we installed the Grunt CLI, which had a couple of dependencies. Um, and we installed Bower, which had more. And then we installed Yo. Okay, so we should be good to go. Let's try to replicate, well, let's just try something really simple. And then I'll break this up into another video where we can actually um, replicate the rapid prototyping with Twitter Bootstrap. Um, let's just try running Yo web app and see what happens. Okay. More info. May we anonymously report usage statistics? I'm going to say no for now. Sorry, guys. Um, that's because it's the first time I ran this, but uh, familiar, do you want Twitter bootstrap for SaaS? I'm just going to say no. Uh, require JS support. And interesting, so there was nothing asking me about ECMAScript 6, and I think there was some other 
question I was asked before. In any event, I now have a project. It looks like things are are working. You know, just running some sanity t checks here. So it looks like uh, we're good to go and we're installed and we'll get to the next one on doing some rapid prototyping with Yeoman 1.0.